Hi, virtual learners. For social studies today, there is not a PowerPoint, but there is instead, we are going to make a graph of how many people we have in our family. But, hold on. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go through and figure out how many people each of us have in our families, and we're going to fill in this graph together as a class, okay? And virtual learners, like, um, Alex and Douglas, if you want to send us a little message and we can add that into our graph once you um, watch this video, you can let us know how many people you have in your family. Okay? All right, so what, this is how it works. So I'm going to ask a question. Or I'm going to ask, like, for example, raise your hand if you have two people in your family, meaning it is just you and one parent. Like, you don't have a mom or a dad, you have, it's just you, and maybe you have just you and mom, or you and dad, or you and grandma, and you and grandpa. Raise your hand if you, there is just two people in your family. Okay? So, virtual learners in our class, we had zero on that one. So, that we, one, we just leave blank. Okay? Raise your hand if in your family it is just you and mom or dad, or grandma and grandpa, or aunt and uncle, whoever takes care of you. Like, you don't have any brothers or sisters. So, like, if you were to go home, it would just be you and mom and dad. Raise your hand if there are three people in your family. I think there's some of you. Like, Taylor, do you have brothers and sisters? Okay, so, Taylor, like, this would be you, because it's just you and mom and dad, right? So, if you just have three people in your family. Okay. Eva, do you have brothers and sisters? No. So it's just you and Nana and Papa, right? Like when you go home, right? Okay, is there anyone else that's like that? No. I'm not talking about you because you have a brother in this class. This is just if it's you and your mom and dad. Three people. Just three. Okay, that means if it says three, that means you don't have brothers or sisters. It's just you, and then you go home, and it's just you and mom and dad, or you and grandma and grandpa, whoever takes care of you. So we that we have two in our class, so we're going to fill in. I want you on this one to use a green. We're going to use the same colors. So find a green crayon or color pencil. And since we have two people in our class that only have three people in their family, we're going to fill in two boxes. We're going to go up to the number two. So you're going to fill in two boxes. Okay. Two. We have two in our class that have three people in their family. So a kid and then a mom and dad or a kid and grandma and grandpa or whoever takes care of them. Okay, so fill that in. Two boxes. Next, we're going to use the color blue. And I want you to raise your hand if you have four people in your family. So if it's you and a brother or sister and mom and dad. Okay, so keep your hands up. So Gwen, it wouldn't be you. You have five because you have a brother and a sister and mom and dad. So you're including yourself when you count this. So like Tommy, yes, you do. So Tommy, Parker, that's two. Mason, three. Amelia, four. Owen, five. Christian K, six. Carter, yep, seven. Claire, eight. So we have eight. So eight people. So now we're going to fill in eight boxes. So we're going to fill in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So on your graph, you're going to fill in all the way up to eight. Because in our class, eight people have four. And Alex, I'm going to add you in there too. And we're going to make it nine because I know that you have your little sister Ava at home. Okay, so we're going to actually fill in nine because I know Alex has her little sister Ava and her mom and dad. All right, so in this we don't count pets. I'm sorry, pets. We only count people. <laughs> don't count dogs or fish or rabbits or turtles or hamsters. 
Right. All right, so we have four people, or I'm sorry, we have nine people that have four people in their family. Okay, so now we're going to go on to if you have five people in your family. So that means that when you go home, it's you and you have two brothers or sisters and mom and dad. So keep put your hands high up in the air. So Adam, is your hand up? Okay, put it up high so I can see it. Good. So Adam and Gwen, one, two. John, you're three. Caitlin's four. Collins, five. Miles, is your hand up? Okay, six. Um, Logan is seven. Alana, is your hand up? Okay. Um, Isabel is eight. Christian's nine. Caden is ten. Good. Okay, so on this one, we go all the way up to the very top. So on this one, I want you to pick yellow. So we're going to fill in five members. That would be ten. Ten or more people in our class have five members. Yes, John? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. I know, but you have two brothers, and that's five people. I'm not asking if it's brothers or sisters. We're just talking about people. Okay? So it's brothers or sisters. Either one. It doesn't matter. That's why you said or. Okay. Okay, raise your hand now if you have six people in your family. So that means that you have three brothers or sisters. Three brothers or sisters. So Jordan, one. Alana, two. Anyone else? Oliver, is your hand up? Three. Anyone else? Okay, so we have three. So let's pick red for that one. So we're going to fill in one, two, three boxes. Good. Does anyone else have seven people in their family? No? Okay. What about eight or more? No. Okay, good. See? So it's just kind of cool to see in our family how many people have three people in their family, how many have four, how many have five, how many have six. Okay, let's fill out this bottom part really quick. It says, on the bottom, true or false, all families are the same. False. Yeah, all families are not the same. We just, we just saw that when we raised our hand. Number two, everyone has brothers and sisters. False. That's right. Not everyone does, and that's okay. All families are unique. True, yeah. All families are unique and different. Okay. All right. Virtual learners, that's all for social studies today. We're just making this graph. All right. Don't forget to submit a picture, and we will see you later. Bye.